Hello again, welcome back. In this video, I would like to go over a few points about the core components of agentic AI systems. If you haven't read through the lecture materials, please go through that before you watch this video. Again, I will raise a few questions about what you've read in the lesson. All right, I assume you've done that now and let's, let's just go through the question. So again, in this lesson, what we've done is covered the core components. We talked about the uh, architectural components of uh, specifically AI agents, uh, the fact that we give them a brain, which is an LLM, there's memory and there's tools for taking actions. We also talked about the cognitive components here and then finally the section on agent autonomy. So let's go through some of these questions. So agents are granted memory, right? That's what we said. Well, why is it called memory? Have we thought about that? My uh, opinion on this is it's very misleading to call it uh, memory because when I first read about memory, I the impression I got was maybe we are fine tuning the LLM with the, the conversations that were had and we are training that into the weights and that's not what is happening clearly and that would be kind of odd and quite costly to do uh, and that's obviously better ways and uh, especially for most business applications. So what we call memory here is more like context and it is the managed context, right? Uh, any conversations the agent may have had with its environment we or, or the, the external user, we keep that, we store it somewhere and then when the conversation needs to be continued, we are persisting that and providing that as context. That's really what we mean by memory. And there's better ways of managing that, that whole process, but there is no, the agent doesn't know it has memory. It's not self-managed and it's not self-growing. It's a behavior that we are uh, building into the application externally. What does it mean for an AI agent to reason? So when we went into the cognitive elements, we talked about planning, coordination, reasoning, sensing, all those nice verbs that we can attach to behaviors. And uh, this is more a semantic debate. Uh, there is no real reasoning happening or planning or any of that, even the decisions, which is gonna get into the next question about autonomy. Uh, these are just semantic uh, labels we attach to these behaviors. And at the heart of it, if you know how LLMs work, that's just uh, next word prediction, right? It's, it's stochastic parrots and there's no causality, there's no reasoning inherently happening in this system. So uh, again, I, I don't worry too much about this because to me, uh, I've always thought like, you know, the, the, as they say, right, it's, if it quacks like a duck, it walks like a duck. Even if we know it's not a duck, who cares? Uh, so we can use it like a duck, right? So in this case, a lot of these agent AI systems, I don't worry too much that I know there's no real intelligence there, but if they act intelligently enough and they're useful enough, that's good enough for me. All right, the last question, who's really making the decisions, the agent or the designer? Uh, we talk about autonomy and I sometimes feel like I'm cheating the system by, or at least making it, making it uh, I can attach the artificial label of, oh, this is an agent deciding what to do, but that behavior is so well crafted and designed that it's really the designer saying, if you see this, do this, or if you see that, do that, right? It's, it's, it's really, uh, uh, you know, what would be happen happening in a rules-based system but now you are loosely defining it, right? It's not so strictly hard-coded, but still at the end of the day, it's, it's something that the designer has trained into the application. So it will later on get into, when we talk about module, in, when we get into module three, there's going to be evaluations, but I will also talk about fairness and ethics of the systems. And just know that, you know, a lot of the time you will, you will see someone saying the agentic system or an AI system uh, was unfair, was biased and uh, you know, the only gripe I have about that is, no, it's not the system that's biased, it's the designer, people who build those systems that have either through the, through implicit decisions they made during the design or through the training data they use to build that application, it's really being driven by that. So uh, just just know again the autonomy and all these, uh, these, these actions we see, they're really designed by the, by the designer of the application, which is going to be you in the future. All right, that's what I wanted to cover in this lecture, in this video. Hope you're enjoying the, the content. See you in the next video.